morning, everybody. The girls are just starting to come in now. There's got the girls in today. Playing the waiting game. It's going to be another cracker of a day, another hot, beautiful day today. Good. About to start washing the yard. It's got Cup and our segregated girl here onto the bucket. Jenny. Still hard here, yeah. not recovering well. And we've got our bucket there ready to pull up. Oh, we caught them both. They'll mosey on their way up to that paddock. She's walking a lot better, as you see. Don't even have to follow them, they know where they're going. Right out to that bag. Good girls. Awesome. We'll close that up when we go and wash the yard. Just started washing up. I've just switched over from the and there we go. Oh. Look at that. Tank is here. Just for this in time. You. Inside the tanky here, you see, he's got all his controls there. This is how much milk we've got and all our cracks and that we sent. And then there that takes out little bits of milk so that he can test. The Fonterra, or our dairy supply company, can test to see how much, um, what our fat percentages, protein percentages, whether we've got grades, anything like that. So that's what they test for. And it's all tested on Fonterra's site. And if we come back, it comes back on our docket as either a grade or as something else. Is that the book's all gone? He's taken all the book. We sent uh, 4,235 litres, so we're up about 200 litres. The cows have responded very well to the um, to them going back underneath the trees. Here's the thing up here. I'm going to need a bucket. This bucket is there. And here we are. That's another bucket added to the pile. We've still got a few more buckets to fill. Good job, there. Keep it up. Keep it up. Just got one more job to do this morning, and that's just to feed out. And then at lunchtime, we'll go shift their fence while the cows are moving and go and set up their paddock for the night. Check for birds. Nope. Buggers. Just like that. Start to get on over. Let's get the feeder. He's only just started his first paddock. He's doing that paddock there where he is now. So here yeah, we're just gonna go and shift these calves first. Come on, Tiggy Siggies, come on! Come on, Tiggy Siggies! Good. Coming this way. Come on, Tiggy, come on! Mum's waiting down there. Come on, Tiggy Siggies, come on! Give us a wave, Mum! There's Mum. They're going in this paddock here. Thank <laughs> you. 
nice freeze and he's come up really well. Beautiful. Oh, that's there, see? Oh, he's in the second paddock. He didn't take long to do the first one. See how long it took me to have breakfast? Just quite a fair way down the hill, doesn't he? all of them shifted. Oh, I forgot to go close the fence on the other side. We'll quickly shoot around there. Mum, you head up to the top and go open that gate for us. Thank you. Just had to close that gate. Still a lot of ragworts on this place. Um, we'll get the spray tag out and spray them as Dad shifts them. Here's another paddock here. Be able to go and watch them mow though soon. Come on, up there. Come on, yeah. Come on. I think you're still a calf, don't you? But you still are technically. <laughs> hey, who's friendly? Who's your friendly? Hey, no, we're having this little bugger. Get out of it. Hey, shh. Electric. Now stay. Stay. Noisy little calfy. Smell it. Yep, ouch. Sorry, little calfy. You won't go into that again now. Bikes. So I'll be happy in there for a while. Otherwise, he'd be going the other way so that it didn't 
just got the uh, duck's food and Dad just gave us tea tree hedge line here, a bit of a trim. Now he's off to the next paddock. We're gonna go and see how it looks and feed the feed the duckies. The quackens we call them. That's what Mackenzie Dallas referred to them as, the quackens. Here he goes. We'll just wait here, we'll be able to get a bit of footage of him going around the hill. And he does it, Dad. Not too fast. Bugger, I should have been recording as we come down here. There would have been another about 20 ducks with them. Come on, baby! Here they come. Come on, baby! Feed them. Mackenzie and Dallas love feeding them. So. Feed them and keep them friendly, as we say. Nice little spot for a picnic, too. Beautiful little lake, but little ducks to annoy you. Good spot over there under that tree. They actually put a, uh, a uh, rope swing on that little tree there if you wanted to. Get right out and swing it. Jump in the water. You from the highest point on Mum and Dad's little property here. Working up the hill. And over the top. all done. I'm off now. We're taking it down to the farm and I'm going to go mow that bit behind the red sheds. Yeah, he's mowed that whole paddock down there. It's come up quite well actually. Here we go. I'm just going to mow half this paddock, that's all. Won't take me about half an hour.
right down the middle. Work our way out with breeze. Girls, now what's temperature outside? The tractor says it is 26 degrees, so 1317 hours, and this tractor's just gone three years old. It's done a few hours, it's took a long while. Yeah, that's a good girl. <laughs> Let's go and get the fence shift. We'll go actually release the cows first, then we'll shift the fence because release the cows first, we'll have enough time to shift the fence. Hot day again. Yeah, just finished shifting the reel. There's that rank grass over there, it's just got a bit too long. So that'll be turned into silage. It's probably only about 10 bales, I reckon, out of that lot. Maybe 15. That's all. And it's a good sized break today because it actually didn't quite have enough shade yesterday, as Dad was saying. So just shifted it and then straightened the fence up. Red heat time. Make it very far. Hey ladies, how we doing? The girls were last night in this big paddock. Tonight they're going into this paddock. And as you see, this trough is shared between two paddocks. So it's just a matter of switching those tapes onto that side there. It's good. Carry on, let's go and uh, check the drain where the cows have come from, and then we'll go look the girls away. They've got some nice cover now. It's all locked 
away. See you all tonight. Afternoon. Well, we're going to see how it goes. Down, it makes it a lot easier to bring it back down to temperature. Girls ready here, and it'll cool the vat down perfectly. See you all morning. Chris, how are we doing? Good, good, good. That's all right. Hey, just late tonight. Hey, we might have to downgrade you to a B. I don't think so. Not B plus B. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Ah, uh, they're going well. We aren't late at all. Just had to wait for the rake, anyways. Come on. Come on. Yep, pig. Yes, you don't look too steep, but makes the big machines work pretty hard around here. Steep, alright. Yeah, really do it just the spot you're sitting on the hill here. Is quite of a steep paddock. Yep. I'm sitting here with him on my bike. And here he comes up the hill. Then we steep. We can steep all right. Yep, getting it done. There he goes up the hill there. But yeah, it's coming along good. Not many more rows on that side to go. But she's still pretty wet here, all right? Sinking in, there's still a bit wet in the odd spot. There he goes over the brow of the hill. There he goes. It doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to tell you, it is quite steep. Here. I'm going to practice sitting right down in the back. Just making it work good. No skidding. Hold the phone level, it's down here. I'm sitting on the bike, so there's where we are. Girls just eating all their milk, they're happy as. There he comes washing up. 
Ah, yes. Make sure you guys grab that one. That's a light. Man's work is always not done. Oh, exactly, exactly. Man's work is never done. Wait, no, you to cut this one out, Chris, so I can walk off. <laughs> there he comes. We're on the beach. B plus, B plus team. B plus. I can't even get into the A. Now we're just washing up, did a great job. Yeah, start washing the yard too. Nope. Yeah, it's here. He's washing the yard. Yeah, he's right. Hey, Sarah, Chris. Yeah, boys. I can subscribe. See you in the morning. We're going to go load up our two bars of silage now. And then we're going to go and feed out. Oh, Chris has left it all set up for the uh, baler to come tonight. Might not be able to get any footage of the baler actually because he's still up at dad's place and I've got to go help some mates um, do some hay shortly. There we go. That's the last of it gone. And yeah, the girls were all fed. Birdies. It'll be us. So you can't really see out that window, but uh, yeah. Well, that's girls all fed. Happy as. I think um, that's us for today. I'll see you all at milking in the morning. Thank you. The roads are looking a bit dry now, but um, only on top. If you have a look inside, it's still very green and just nice. It's going to cook up beautiful.